Partout dans le monde, la crise du Covid a davantage fragilisé les populations vulnérables et oubliées de tous, ainsi que les micro-ONG qui œuvrent pour elles. La mission d'Art Squad, les accompagner durablement dans leur développement avec votre soutien et celui d'influenceurs engagés qui se mobilisent à nos côtés pour faire rayonner leur admirable engagement. Accompagnés de Marie, chargée de projet, tous ont accepté mon invitation à intégrer l'escouade afin de découvrir ces organisations, comprendre les défis et problématiques auxquelles elles sont confrontées et mettre en lumière leurs besoins prioritaires ainsi que leurs projets et leur impact. Précédemment, Aurélie, Hervé, William, Aude et Cathy ont découvert l'admirable engagement de plusieurs organisations œuvrant pour l'autonomisation des femmes le développement économique des communautés, la protection de l'environnement et des animaux, la santé et le handicap, l'enfance et l'éducation, ainsi que la lutte contre la faim et la pauvreté. Tread soft and light, leave no path among pines. Greet the morning as it comes. C'est le cœur lourd que nous quittons Agustino pour rejoindre Moshi, où nous allons découvrir Tattoo Project, une micro ONG fondée en 2013 et qui œuvre dans de nombreux domaines pour soutenir les communautés Maasai environnantes. À notre arrivée, nous sommes invités à une activité pour le moins originale afin de faire connaissance avec l'équipe, composée de personnel local ainsi que de volontaires internationaux et avec qui nous passerons les prochains jours. de l'ONG nous présente les différents projets dont bénéficient plus de 12 000 membres de la communauté Maasai. Tattoo Project is a non-for-profit organization and we are based in the northern part of Tanzania in, in the Kilimanjaro, Manyara and Arusha regions and basically we are implementing different community uh, development projects with the communities of these areas. Tattoo is um, meaning three in Swahili and it, we have three pillars. We are working on environment projects. This was to uh, address the challenges that has to do with environment in general and also we are working in empowerment programs which basically is to address the challenges for marginalization. And we are working on the education part, which is cutting across every other project, like awareness, sensitization, and education trainings. Tattoo project is different from other organizations, we can say, because we've been working with this community for 15 years. And after 15 years, everything will be sustained by the community. 
So we are expecting on 2028 everything will be fine for us to phase out. At the beginning, it was a little bit of a challenge to work with the Maasai community uh, because um, normally they would see like you are coming with your new idea or some kind of something like this. But our approaches was different. Um, basically, we are implementing the projects that started or initiated by the community themselves. It's not that we are going to the community and we start initiating something. We are working very collaboratively with the community from the grassroots. Après ce moment d'échange, il est temps de découvrir par nous-mêmes les projets sur le terrain. A commencer par la caravane médicale à laquelle Aude infirmière de nuit à l'hôpital, va participer. Organisée trois fois par an, cette initiative permet aux communautés Maasai reculées de bénéficier le temps d'une journée de soins gratuits. spread of disease and this is why I work with tattoo uh, because when we work in the hospital we always treat the disease you receive a patient who is already infected but sometimes you receive patient who is infected with uh, a disease that is simple to prevent a uh, disease like typhoid fever or disease like uh, cholera you can just prevent them by hand washing I was telling myself that instead of staying in the hospital and just treating people who are already infected why not go into the community itself and preach the good health. So as we can reduce the number of people from the community to the hospital. At the same time, in direct, you reduce the burden of the hospital itself. It is not easy to attract the doctors. There's no electricity, there's one well, and sometimes there's no water. The transportation is difficult. You can see there's no uh, road. So you imagine somebody who has studied for a long time, will uh, he or she really be able to come and work in this area? No. It comes with passions to work in places like this. So at the beginning when we started, uh, the community were having, there was high uh, burden of diseases uh, like cholera, and it was killing a lot, of, a lot number of people. But when we came, we started to create awareness on uh, how to prevent these transmittable and communicable diseases. And diseases like, which are, are chronic, this is like uh, diabetes, hypertension, and all of those. So like in the dispensaries, uh, we provide uh, equipment that are supporting the doctors and the nurses there to do their work effectively. But also we create a good environment of the, the building itself so as it can accommodate a lot number of patients, but also receive a quality medical care. We have the volunteering uh, people from the, from the, the community itself. Uh, and they are working as the home-based cares. So these they are volunteers, they are non-medical but we facilitate them with the trainings. Uh, the primary health trainings will enable them to take care of the, of the chronic ill patient at home. So as tattoo, we enable by giving the means of transportation, we enable by giving the medications, means of, uh, of equipment that will support them when they are going to visit this patient at home. In our goal of improve the quality of uh, healthcare in this village, we initiate, we started what we call a caravan. We do a mass gathering of people in one day and we provide a free treatment. The, the aim of it first is to bring the people 
into the modern medicine. And second is to increase the, the, the confidence of the people towards the health personnel from the community. So at the beginning when we initiated this uh, medical caravan, we were just doing it in one area. But we were missing people at the long distance. So we say, how can we reach the, these people who are far? That's why we initiate this mobile caravan. Our target in the, every mobile caravan is 75 patients to, uh, to 80 patients. But usually because a lot of number of people need health care, when, when we announce that we'll do the, the mobile caravan, they tend to come even more than the one that we, we estimate. Today up to now is 180 patients. Most of them they come for health checkup. But others, they come because they have a chronic illness and they think they need more consultation from a different doctors. That's why they come. But others, they are still really sick. Uh, so you see, there are some patients who are, who are staying at home, not receiving medical care. Uh, once they see this chance, they come. The way we structure our project, we structure them into the sustainability way. This is why when we do this mobile caravan, we always include the local health professional from here. We also include the village government to understand what we are doing. And once we leave, to continue uh, doing it. And don't cover me, babe. And lay yourself on top of me. I don't want us to start again. I get it, and I'm not your friend. No, but everything's been said, and everything's been done. I'll be down the street, all passed out on road. Cause I'm trying to forget. I'm trying to forget about you Don't cover me, babe Your shadow's hanging over me Breathe on me Just breathe on me And don't cover me, babe Don't fill me with this false rage I can't do this anymore Oh, I'm not up for hurting no more But everything's been said And everything's been done I'll be down the street All passed out on road Cause I'm trying to forget you I'm trying to forget about you There's nothing I have you to betray Oh, now please Gotta bleed or leave if you gotta leave. Scream if you gotta scream. Misbehave if that's what it takes. Oh, run if you gotta run. I said, come if you gotta come. Oh, Si la santé est un domaine de prédilection de l'ONG, l'autonomisation des femmes l'est tout autant. Le projet Massa en fait partie et permet à 17 femmes Maasai de percevoir un revenu régulier grâce à la confection et à la vente de bijoux traditionnels.
Masa project is the social business of uh, Masa women uh, from Sitwa Timba in Londoto and they make different jewelries and th this mainly for them to earn income out of it and also at the same time to promote their culture. This year was an idea of the Masa women themselves. They want to do this to, to support also the family and to earn some money. We see um, impact uh, in different ways. Their confidence has increased, self-esteem is increased. They are participating in decision-making to their families, but also they take their kids to school. They can run their life themselves, so there is a lot that's been changed. Tattoo supports them with buying the jewellery direct from the women and sell it locally and internationally. Tattoo uh, also supports these women to connect them with different market, for example in the cities in Moshi, with different selling points, uh, be able to sell direct to this shop by themselves. Most of the part is uh, earned by direct from Masa women and then the rest invested to the project to be fully sustainable. Lydia, Naipokeki, Margaret, Eva, Esther, Monica, Rehema, ah, Agnes, <laughs> Rosie, Elizabeth and Naisidiaki. Cathy habituée à donner des conférences sur l'estime de soi, va pouvoir échanger avec plusieurs d'entre elles lors de leur rencontre hebdomadaire. Moi, je m'appelle Cathy Nasekou. Nasekou. <rire> Ce moment-là où vous vous retrouvez toutes en ensemble à faire euh, donc les bracelets, c'est un moment de joie, un moment de partage pour vous est-ce que vous pouvez me raconter votre quotidien D'accord, donc vous avez, vous avez une famille Ils vous aident, vos enfants et votre mari, dans vos tâches ménagères votre mari, il fait quoi si vous n'êtes pas au travail, lui Est-ce qu'il vous soutient dans votre projet de fabriquer des bijoux et de gagner de l'argent et cet argent, ça aide votre famille à vivre et vous, ça a permis d'améliorer de, de, aussi votre quotidien Mais et votre mari doit être fier de vous, il doit être content que vous puissiez contribuer à aider votre famille à, à, à pouvoir bénéficier de tout ça aujourd'hui.
C'est vraiment formidable que vous puissiez travailler, que votre mari vous soutienne dans ce projet. Alors moi, je suis venue en fait voir ce que vous faisiez et j'aimerais savoir euh, finalement de quoi vous avez besoin. Elisabeth, c'est votre bébé Et vous avez combien d'enfants Et vous leur apprenez à faire des, des bracelets avec des perles aussi à vos petites filles vous êtes un bel exemple alors pour votre famille. En plus de, de vous apporter un peu plus de confort financièrement, qu'est-ce que Tatou vous a apporté dans votre vie de femme Aujourd'hui, comme vous êtes une femme indépendante, euh, comment vous êtes vue et perçue par la communauté Est-ce qu'ils approuvent tous euh, ce que vous faites leur mari les encourage à faire la même chose que vous aujourd'hui alors ça doit être difficile pour ces femmes-là.
heart Every day si les mentalités ont majoritairement évolué depuis la création de l'organisation, la violence à l'égard des femmes reste aujourd'hui encore un sujet d'actualité. À la création de l'organisation, la marginalisation représentait un gros défi pour la communauté Maasai, comme nous l'explique Juliette. Very best achievement for us. Un autre projet phare de Tattoo Project est le Bike Shop, une entreprise sociale de location de vélos gérée par des femmes et qui permet de faciliter le quotidien de milliers de personnes. C'est à présent à William, technicien à l'atelier vélo de Decathlon d'être immergé dans ce projet surprenant qui brave les conventions de la communauté Maasai. Bonjour Flora, est-ce que tu peux me parler un petit peu plus de ce projet de Bike Shop Bike Shop est l'un des programmes économiques et d'empowerment. Au début, nous avons créé ce projet pour proposer un transport affordable pour les communautés de la communauté de la communauté de Tembo, mais aussi pour promouvoir le women empowerment de plus de 60 femmes dans les groupes. Donc, c'est un Bike Shop. Et c'est parmi les femmes. Uh, who got the mechanical training. In the bike shop, we have 81 bikes in circulation. Okay. We rent the bike, it's a social rental business, so we rent the bike per day, per week, uh, and also per, per month. We provide a sustainable, sustainable uh, and affordable piece of transport to the community of Mosito and Mondoli, but also sustainable income for, for these women. I think it's génial to be able to repair the bikes and put them at disposition. Et moi, je ne sais pas si tu sais, mais dans ma vie de tous les jours, je répare les vélos. Je travaille chez Decathlon et je répare les vélos au quotidien des gens. Donc j'aimerais beaucoup pouvoir m'aider.
bike shop project was created after we conducted the survey and see the biggest challenge of the transport to the community from Situ Atembo. Imagine community members who have spent more than eight hours uh, per month just to walk to obtain in the social services, but also spending a lot of money just for the transport. As Tatu, we believe in the power of the community to, to, to be the key catalyst of the changes. So we are working together with a, the group of women to address it. We begin with a, two interventions. Uh, the first intervention was repair and maintenance. So as Tatu, we started in working with a, a partner called the Global Bike, the ones who are providing the donation of the bike and intensive mechanical training to these women so that they can be able to, to run in the business. Until this time we have uh, 11 women who got a mechanical training. And this was changing a lot of the community because uh, at the beginning they were having this perception of the issue of the gender roles that mechanical, mechanical training is for the men. So it's improving the, the group in general, but also the personal development. That's the first intervention. So the second was now the applicability of the business itself. They accumulated the profit every month and they have a profit sharing at the end of the year. But sometimes they are just like deciding to reinvest to the, to the project. Now the bike shop now are self-independent. So they manage the, everything by themselves. The shop now has a capacity of do everything, like pay, paying the spare part, the operational cost, everything. And that was our goal, to make sure I have sustainable bike shop project. Merci beaucoup. Merci. <laughs> Au revoir. Enfin, le projet Kilipads répond aux besoins relatifs à la menstruation, une thématique délicate au sein de la communauté Maasai. Créée en 2016, cette entreprise sociale fabrique quotidiennement une dizaine de protections hygiéniques réutilisables et a permis, jusqu'à présent, à plus de 6500 femmes et étudiantes d'accéder à ces produits. Besides uh, Massa Project, I'm also a manager in Kilipad Project to give more knowledge about menstrual health management to women, to the whole community, but also to decrease the stigma around it by uh, producing and also selling uh, or making more access of um, menstrual health products in, in the community of Mstuatemba and Londoto. Before in these communities, uh, people had different perspectives about uh, menstruation. If girls don't have this information or products that can manage their menstruation, sometimes they miss school, uh, they're not comfortable. That's why we, uh, Kilipad is giving this education about menstrual health management. When we started this seminar, it was a bit difficult to share this information with girls. They were a bit shy, but now after realizing that is just normal for everyone, there is already changes in this community. Also, in attendance in school is more increased. The Kilpad is made by the women in the community. In the beginning, Tattoo Project just supported them with some of the material that they can start their project. But the women uh, make with uh, different material that they find here and they soothe the pads from their workshop. The only thing Tattoo does is supporting them, for example, to buy the pads sometimes and give to the students in schools. Uh, the idea also came from the women who, are, who work in the project. Uh, but um, the idea of uh, starting the reusable pads also came uh, together with Tattoo Project and they realized that once the reusable pads are accessible in the community, then it benefits the community because it can be used for a long time and also it self cost. That's why they came up with this project.
shule mnazofanya kwenye field pad ni utengenezaji wa pedi na kwenda kufundisha seminar mashuleni na jinsi ya matumizi ya pedi. Wewe pale unakuta siku ta, siku yako imefika ya kuona period yako siku 28 pale ukuta unapobomoka ndipo unapoanza kuona nini period yako. Wakati ukuta ukibomoka unakuta wengine wapata maumivu makali sana kutapa china kitofu au mwingine tumbo linamuma sawa mfano mimi damariamu leo tarehe 20 niko kwenye period yangu natakiwa nitafute mzunguko wa mwezi unaofa nini unaofuata kwa hiyo sasa naomba tuazimane mafikio sawa tarehe 20 hapa natafuta siku 28 nijue siku ngapi naanza kufanya nini maandalizi yangu ah twende pamoja unahitaji kuwa na seminar kwa sababu mtoto wa kike aweze kujitambua sasa hivi masuala ya hizi sio ya kitendo cha aibu Uwe mara ya kwanza kweli nilikuwa kidogo ninaoga kesi uga sana yani kidogo lakini baada ya kufanywa interview siku ya kwanza ya pili nikajikuta yani ni kuna uhuru wa kuzungumza bila ufiot. Nimetokea mstari wa mtu wa kike anapokuwa kwenye period hana vifaa ili nakuwa ni kama siri ya kuzalisha. Kwa maana sikuangua kufanya masomo haya na kugazi pedi ipo mtoto wa kike awe uhuru na uzuri masomo watoto wengi wana uhitaji wa pedi uwezo wa kununua wengine wengi wao hawana ila sisi shirika letu la tatu project wao wanapatia fadhili wanatuandikia nje tukipata fadhili na tengeneza mnanda kwa bia watoto shuleni bure baada ya mradi wa timu bado ujaanza ukweli kijihiti au sio wilaya hii ilikuwa bado iko finyu katika utandazo wa uelewa ilikuwa mtoto hakika ile kwenye period shule haendi afanye kazi lakini baada sisi kufika na kuhamasisha na kuapa elimu vijijini na mpaka mashuleni. Sasa hivi ukandatu wa manyara wamelimika. Hakuna nayo unaoga kwa kwenye period. Na shuleni atokaenda kuangalia mauzoleo shule zote zilizopita. Watoto wake kindo naongoza katika uzoleaji mzuri wa shule. Hapana nacho shukuru kila shule ni kila mali nilikopita kufundisha. Yaani mwitupo na kwa ni nzuri na hata unapopita njiani unakuta una, unapata pongezi nyingi. Tunashukuru mafunzo yanatusaidia binti wetu. Mtaji huko mashine kwa zifike tano kila mtu na yake na siku tukiendelea zile tano zikiwepo mbele tutanua tena nyingine kwa sababu tutakao kuja tena wengine kwa tunawafundisha mwenyewe wengine zamira letu sisi kubwa kwetu sisi nataka tutanue kipadiwe kubwa kiwanda kile Ambassadeur de la Fondation Rescue Océan, tenait à découvrir le projet environnement développé par l'organisation. Outre la construction de puits dans cette zone aride où l'eau se fait rare, l'ONG se concentre également sur la plantation d'arbres et la gestion de déchets. A cet effet, elle cible en priorité les écoles à travers la création de clubs environnement qui regroupent actuellement plus de 180 étudiants. So we decided to start with the schools because uh, we believe the students uh, can transfer the information or the knowledge quickly than anybody into the community. And uh, let's say when we teach 50 students, it's equal to 50 families. So what we normally do into the seminar is to teach the students different things about the environment, raising the environment awareness. And then on the practical side, we demonstrate and explain about this nursery they have here. So, uh, William, this is the C2 secondary school and these are the representative of uh, environment uh, club students. So today here, they will have a seminar session with the environment, uh, environment. Today we are going to see how to establish a 
the tree nursery in our school. Anyone who can raise your hand, tell us what is the tree nursery. Good idea. So, tree nursery is a place in which siblings are grown up and they are taken care of after having certain age, they are transferred to a permanent plantation. What kind of trees can be found in a tree nursery? Yes? How many trees? Others? Fruit trees. And then? Flowering trees. Yes, that's good. Trees are important for us, is it? Yes. They don't give me any benefit of having trees? Yes? Mana? Trees are important because it is, it is also for oxygen gas that will be embracing for animals and the others. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Tree is a source of medicine, for example, leaves. Source of medicine, that's good. If you are sick, you can take either the seeds or the leaves or the, the roots, they can cure you. So, let's see, what do we need to establish a tree nursery? The environment where the tree nursery is to be... Flat area. That's good, a flat area. The second criteria we need, yes? Defense We need a fence for security. Fence will prevent animals from entering the place and attack the siblings. Another criteria or another factor? Any idea? Yes? Source of water. The, the tree nursery must be established near reliable source of water. But again, the area should not be vulnerable to winds. Strong winds will not affect the area because it can make the siblings to fall down. How do we Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the sun Here they are different uh, species But the challenge we have is that this is environment is a dry area and the soil has got a lot of alkaline. So not to every species will be adapted in the environment. While you roam in the streets all alone All you can see Thinking about what your life came to be You're a beautiful sight in the summer night You can't put up a fight in the misty light Try to live another day like the mothers of Brazil find their way We're all on our own But you're the most beautiful I've ever known You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the mixed delight Yeah.
realized that uh, people are not really taking care of this environment that they have here. They were cutting trees a lot for making the charcoal, but also they were destroying the river bank for doing the agricultural activities. So with that we saw uh, there is a need to raise awareness concerning the environment, but also to encourage people to, to, to restore their lost environment, but also to conserve the environment that they will create after. We raise awareness by conducting the seminars to the three primary schools and one secondary school in this community. So we have established the environment clubs to these schools. So these students act as a environment ambassador to the community. So we encourage planting trees. So uh, basing on sustainability of the project, we decided to establish a tree nursery at the school, at one of the school so that they can be the supplier of the trees themselves within the schools and within the community. And then uh, also we have different trash campaigns, which we, it involve collecting the trashes, especially plastic from the community. And then we send those trashes to the, uh, to the recycling centers. So we are using different strategies to collect the trashes. One is using the environment club and then the second one, which is very new strategy that we have started to use, is involving the community to collect the trash. We conducted a cinema. The entrance fee will be a bag full of trash. So we got a lot of people, around uh, 150 to 200, who came to watch the cinema and we collected a lot of trashes. The students now are very active and uh, they can explain uh, the effects of, the, of distracting the environment, but also people automatically collected the, the trash, which uh, at, at first nobody were collecting the plastic from the community. But also another improvement is that uh, the trainers that we have established at the, uh, at the secondary school has been able to supply the trees to the primary schools. So for the trees, the schools will be supplier of the trees to the community and they'll sell the seedlings to the community and then uh, the money that they'll get from selling the seedling to the community is the money that will be used to run the, the, the tree nursery even after the third phase out. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light aux côtés des étudiants que nous partageons le déjeuner, avant que William ne revête à nouveau son gilet de collaborateur des Catelons. En effet, ayant eu connaissance des besoins en équipement sportif des écoles, la Fondation a tenu à financer le matériel qui leur faisait défaut. Together we can go crazy We can put out the lights Together we can go, we can go I look straight in your eyes Decathlon Decathlon Avant la forme Avant la forme Decathlon Avant la forme And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby Together we can go crazy. 
keeping up with steps I take So we just dance alone Yeah, we dance like no one's watching So call me out, call me out, baby Aujourd'hui, j'arbitre un match en Tanzanie au pied du Kilimanjaro Vous voulez voir ce que ça donne So call me out, baby Together we can go crazy Toi aussi, tu souhaites soutenir Tattoo Project, rends-toi sur artsquad.com et contribue à partir de 1 euro. Tu peux également soutenir l'organisation en faisant du tourisme solidaire. Réserve ton séjour en Tanzanie via Tattoo Adventure, leur agence de voyage. Les bénéfices sont intégralement réinvestis dans les projets de l'ONG. C'est une fille ou un garçon Eh bien, c'est une fille. Antigo Antigo Antito Antito